Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Rabbi. Good evening. What to do? We have, we have already 50 people on the Zoom. And keep coming. Very good. Watch out for me. Stand up for me. Okay, so we we're coming back and share sushi. Don't let me be pushy. Have a seat. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I'm in the classroom. Everybody has the, the notebook. Yes? Very good. You can write with your finger, it's okay. For the mixing part. Okay, so let me go back and repeat the warning signals that the child is not doing well emotionally, okay? And we have to pick it up, okay? Write it down, please. Write it down. Maybe the girl that was doing beautifully in pre one a in first grade, she's doing terrible. Yes. Something is wrong. Usually we say, okay, she'll get used to it. You know, it's Kita Aleph. Not so simple. <clears throat> Something is wrong. If you, the best one, if, if you're one of the good ones in pre one a and you're not doing well, but Lal in first grade, something is wrong. <laughs> And we have to get into action right away. Number two, Yaakov. He is a child, very much dependent on other. He is a follower, he is not a leader. He is ready to do everything just to find favors in his friend's eyes. So he, he can go to, meaning it, it doesn't help self-confidence at all. Zero. Don't leave it like that. You should not leave it like that because then, you know, when you he, when he grow up and be a teenager, I don't want to tell you what's going to happen, but most likely it will follow the bad ones and not the good ones. Number three, Yoshua. He knows how to bother everybody. In school, in the house, and he don't let you one second of rest. He likes to bother people. Why is he doing it? He's sending you a signals, okay? I don't get enough attention or so on. He doesn't feel good about himself. Let's put it this way. You writing down? Huh? <laughs> I see that you don't dream now. Now it's time to write every, everything down. It will save you a, a lot of time later on. Number four, a girl called Honey. A girl named Honey. Number three, she doesn't talk. How was you? you, you? You, you day at school? Two. Two. You have homework? Two. Yes. Uh, back. Yes. No. Up. You don't like to talk. Why should you want to talk? Because many times you find out that she, that she has nobody to talk to. 
So she is in emotional trouble. So she decided to eat it by herself and she don't want anybody to, to participate. Don't let it go. Her parents have to be alert. Number five, we, we know what it means, I think, very well. Shimon, Shimon. the bully. Shimon. He's the bully. He wants to rule everybody. And he wants to control everybody. And if you're not going to listen to him, we are there beats. He knows how to hit. Okay? He's not doing it like one parent one told me he have extra self-confidence. I almost swallowed my tongue. I know even what to say to her. I told her, this child have no self-confidence at all. That's what how he shows. He's looking to get attention in a negative way. So he decided to use his abilities, his goof, his body, which he, which he knows that he can use it. And to draw attention, he will do everything, even a negative one. And most kids actually trying to draw attention in a negative way. Not in a positive way. If you are in the business of a kiruv, right? Many times I have to deal with people who have earrings over here and earrings over here. And sometimes even, even they have earrings over here. Yeah? And if he's so he has few of them not to talk about tattoos, yes? Why are you doing all this? If you ask him, he doesn't know. He does not know. So I have to tell him. Zero. And he's looking for attention. Somebody should clap for him. Yes, sir? Ma, ma. Okay, good. So you follow her. Okay, so you. So you're asking a child, why are you doing it? He says, everybody's doing it. So if, every, so if everybody will jump off the cliff, you, 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 you will jump? No. That's not an excuse. The child has zero self-confidence. Looking for attention in any way. So he'll do tattoos, he'll do everything. And I don't have to tell you the ladies what they can do. Oh, the skirts will tell, will 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 get shorter and shorter. Everything will be open left and right. And left. Maybe somebody can clap because the husband don't know how to give compliments. Flal living in a different planet. So I'm, I need attention. Ma, her dad, even married ones. Why are you going half naked? Don't you have a husband? Right? So, we all looking for attention in a negative way because we don't get it in a positive way. And the child feel lost, doesn't feel good about himself, no love, no attention, 
what do you think he will do? In school, he will do terrible. And even in school, he, he, look at the cheshbon. He said, I'll punch in school. The principal I know will call my parents. Then my parents will notice that they have a child. That's how a child man works. He knows that the principal will call the parents. And did you see that? The parents are more frightened than the child. He feels good. He said, finally I get attention. Now it's me, my parents. Now I get what I want. Yes, that's how bad it can go. Number six, now we're getting higher basulam. A child that stealing things from school or from the friends in school. This quite already, this is not a hint. The child is screaming loud as he can. He is coming home with things that you know is not belong to him. And you're asking the child, who gave this to you? My friend gave it to me. My mora gave it to me. And you're calling the friend and say, I was looking for that. I was looking for that. And the mora, if he's calling her, say, I didn't give the child anything. Probably took it on his own. So what are we gonna do? As parents, what are we gonna do? Tidbayesh lecha, ma'ata gonev, ma'ata normali. That's why we're sending you to yeshiva for shame on you. And the child said, not enough. I'm already with my head just above the ground. And it will be now Abba and Ima coming and with the boot kaha. Okay, Habibik? Ah, get inside. We're going to punish you. We have to punish the parents. How did they get to it? Because we are on Instagram. They're important, right? <laughs> Facebook, middle writer. Middle writer. Ah, ah, TikTok. Oh. That's also for attention. It's not just because of course attention. The child gets attention from you by hook or by crook. You have to decide which one you, you, you want to give him. Okay. No, 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 no. Nobody is born a thief. No, Who is born a thief? What to give to the kids and what not to give, how to give. And what statement we have to say when we give in order for them not to be jealous also is a shio by itself. Okay? Everything that I'm throwing over here is rak rashep rakim. Then we have to take each one of them and go to details and details. Okay? Ask my people over here, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question and please answer back. Okay, Rav. How long are we already on the Zoom? Two Almost and more years. years. Over two years. Two, over two, two, over years. two years. What I'm teaching you over the Zoom? Chinuch, Shalom Bayit. Bayit. Avot, Every day. Every day. We, we didn't miss yeah. even one day, I think. By hook or by crook, Rav? By hook or by crook, yes. And if we didn't get the class, Rav does it all over again. All over again. Yes. 
And we take notes, yes. Record it. And we still Recorded. in the middle. We have two more years to go. Maybe we're going to graduate. Everything needs to go to details by, by details because you think that what I'm going to tell you here, you, you're going to go home and chick chuck like, you know, is going to work as a magic. Scrap it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You have to put a lot of effort, as I said to you in the car. Sometimes the effort is so much, you're going to see it only when the kids get married. Okay? So be patient. Yes. Yes. And my crew knows very well, very well. Oh boy, it's packed. They know very well. You have to be in, in life, you have to be very patient. We, the Israelis, are not so, that good at that. <laughs> right? Bechlal, Bechlal, no. Bechlal, no. Ah. Is there something that called Tor? Tamot Bator? Yes, the Varakaze. Israelim Lodimanze, right? We don't know what does it mean to stay in line. If you cut it off, <laughs> stay in line. Oh, and that's what we think that we're going to do with our kids or with the spouse, my wife. It doesn't go like this. About I, please. Wake up, okay? Patient. Put aside because by the kitchen. Yeah. Patient. You learn how to breathe. Take it easy. No? So when the child steals, it's something to do with, with us, something we're doing wrong. And we have to find out right away what are we doing wrong. What's the reaction for that? Huh? What's the reaction? Not to yell at you. What's the reaction? You know, once I got a note from the yeshiva that my twins the two boys are not behaving. And one is more than the, 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 the one is more than the other. So I'm talking to the principal. I said, what's the problem? <laughs> My time. Tell me the whole truth. Don't hide anything from me. He said, you son became the boss of the yeshiva. <laughs> the boss of the yeshiva. He said, you don't talk. Because my father is Rabbi Chaimov, <laughs> he's gonna throw you out of the yeshiva in two minutes. Oh <laughs> Arrogant, because Shachtan, Shachtan, you know, ah, he was maybe eight, nine, because I said, Opa, okay. My wife and me, we called a time out. What are we gonna do? We have to come up with a plan how not to attack him. Has it eat? You know, not to come to him, I don't know, to confront him. We have to go. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I say to my rabbit saying, you know, let me go. To to gift world. I'm going to look for books. Books that they talk about arrogant kids. They met. I had a Siata de Shmaya. I found a book. Okay. I don't know who it was. The arrogant child, and nobody wants to play with him. I said, Oh, that's a separate need. 
I called uh, the principal, I told him, give me two weeks. Friday night came, I packed my, uh, with all kind of, you know, prizes. And I said, I have a story for, for you. I bought a book. Let's see what you're gonna say. Okay. And, and whoever going to repeat it, and they knew always in my pocket, I have so many prizes and everything else. Well, did you see in the pocket is there? Eh? It's Kedai to listen. So I started to act this book, not just to read it, you know, the kids say, Oh, yalla, no, come on. You act the book. He said, it was a child. Arrogant. His father gave a lot of money to the Shiva. And he felt that he is the boss of the Shiva. Nobody wanted to be his friend. He found out in the end, nobody wants to come even around him and this and this. After I said to them, that the, the whole, the book, then I said, what do you say? What do you say? So this boy that everything was aiming toward him, I didn't even look at him, you know? I just uh, talking to my girls, to, to the boys, you know? Him. So he, he was the first one to react. He said, this child is idiot. Nobody will be his friend. Of course, I told him, you don't want to be his friend? He said, Mapito. Mapito. I said, don't you have in your yeshiva somebody kaha as the Ashkenazi had that his father, his money, he said, no, no, good. Every, everybody is, is, is okay. So, Kaka, by the way, Kaka said, I hope that you guys don't use the koach that you have, you know, because of your Abba. And I left it like this. That's it. Let him. Let him think. Then, two days after I said, you know, I bought a gift. Whoever gonna repeat what I said Friday night, I'm gonna give him this gift. Ava, I know, I know. And I was waiting for this boy to tell me, he jumped, he says, I want to say it. I remember. <laughs> okay, Habibi. The podium is all yours. And he starts to say word by word. Very good. Thursday, again. Again. Because I'm not confronting you coming this way. Our <laughs> problem is what? Every time the child is doing something, by the way, Boina, Masitayo, what did you do today in school? Well, the child right away, I didn't do anything. Lassie, no? So why the principal called me? Was he bored? He didn't find any, any, anybody there, said, most probably bold. I didn't do anything. He's going to deny everything. So what did we gain? Again, in this patient. Yes, we have a child that he, 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 we don't like what we hear. Yes, I didn't like it, but I didn't like it. 
But we said, the whole world, we got disconnected from the whole world. What we're going to do with this child should not continue this behavior. Like a what is he doing already? No, like if he has trouble in school and like what the principal calls you, how do you confront the three year What the principal say? No, like let's say kids are fighting with between in the class. That's normal. Shouldn't complain about it. If a kid hits another kid. I don't know what school they 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 they're going to, but kids usually when they sensitive kids, they don't know how to control themselves. They're only three years old. Alevi, we will be able to control ourselves. Yes, what we asking from a three years old. Again, we're going back to patient. Yes. Sometimes a child even can bite. And I saw once a child biting another child. You see, you saw all the teeth marks on his shoulder. And the parents started to scream, foul, maze, what's going on over here? Maze, po. I don't know, listen to me. This child is a very sensitive child, okay? So I called up the parents and said, listen to me. You have a child that needs, you know, he needs you. You have to hug him, you have to do something. This child is calling for something. He's not able to control himself because he doesn't know how to express himself. So you see all kinds of reactions. When you get upset, what's the reaction? Either you cry, Either you scream, right? Either you make faces. Or sometimes if you can take a shoe and throw at your husband, okay? Who knows what you can do, right? Can you control yourself? When you're emotional, can you control yourself? So you, you kids, you know, we have to judge them favorably. Miskenim, you know, they, they, they smoke. It's okay, you can judge people, but when you're a three-year-old, it's hitting your one-year-old, you have to do something, no? You can't just let it be. So don't let, again, because we're busy cooking, or you're on the phone <laughs> cooking, or you're doing this, and you leave this one-year-old to the ends of this, the lion, as, why did you bite the sheep? Only them all day, you have so many others, thank God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. In in the old days, people used to go to China, Alema Shalom, right? People used to buy, you know, vases, you know, and they put it well in the living room or in the dining room. And now the kids. Hashem Yerachem Alein. Don't play over here. It will break. Moshe, take it me, Moshe. Why? Because she bought a vase in China. So the vase is more important than your child. Right? Yes or no? That's the truth. So the house that's supposed to be the best place for the kids become jail. Cannot move. And then we're saying, why the kids acting like that? Of course they're gonna act like this. You see, we bought furniture. Do you know when? When my older daughter started to get on Shiduchim. <laughs> Until then, we had no furniture. The living room was a playground, not even a chair, because I knew. Because if I, I'll buy, they'll, the kids will get into jail. 
you come into my house, Habibi, empty lot. <laughs> empty lot. My house, yes. Okay, empty. I said to everybody, can you say, Misken? Bakarapo. <laughs> Let them talk. I have to see what is my good for my kids. No? They came home, Allah, the throwing thing over there, over there. If I get on the floor, tach, tuch, the door before me, dio, dio, dio. Okay, dio, fine, very really good. Ball. We played ball. But in the living room. So the child wants to come home. Imagine now that the child comes and says, I'm a metorefe, Tarshav. Avaza, she can tell me China, Rahmanali, Salam, Rahmanali. When my kids, everybody got out of the house, my wife said, you know, now we have to buy a car. But compensation for all the years that we didn't buy. I said, I'm buying you whatever you want. Just say one word, you, you're going to have it. One condition. When the grandchildren <laughs> come in, don't jump on them. If yes, I'm going to take everything out again. Let them come here. Let them enjoy Saba. And, and Safta. Usually, when they come into the house of Saba and Safta, they say, Baruch Atah Beboecha, U Baruch Atah Betsetecha. Lech Abayit Akon. Lech. Ulama, Afchut Abayit. She afor. Let them. You see, get one time into the shoes of the child and see how, how they feel. You know? They want to come home. Don't restrict them. So now, the one is old, is there, and you know is an easy target for the three years old. Aval mala asot a tic tac yoter chashu, o ala Facebook mi deoraita erze shar bli. Facebook, I'm surprised that nobody until now came with the idea a back book. Until now it was a Facebook. And Malirotpo, and Klum. Maybe Polish Malirot. Okay? Is your kids less important? I'm saying to everybody. Don't cook. Don't clean. Don't do anything because the kids is more important than anybody else. That's what we did at home. I'm telling you right now. And my kids... No, until now you can ask them. My wife, I told her, do me a favor. Don't cook, don't clean, don't do anything. Let's play with them. Let's satisfy them. Then we can do whatever you want. <laughs> Ma? <laughs> don't worry when the person start to grow up. He understand already, but at least Anishama Shalom Briah. Anishama Briah. When the neshama is healthy, when the neshama is healthy, everything will be healthy. I promise you. And it went all the way. We had, we had made from day one, I bought a maid. My wife, I told her, you don't clean. I didn't marry a maid. Hello? Sit down. Relax, read books, and uh, don't clean. Cook, yes. One second, one second. We newly wed. I bought a lady to clean. I said, I didn't marry you to clean. I don't want to see no broom, no shumdavak, bloom. For this, Hashem created Spanish people. It's not for you. Jews are not, not for them. Not for them. Okay. Okay, good. So now the maid came and then we had a, a, a living. And the kids are coming over and say, Mommy, why she didn't clean our 
room. Opa. So here comes Abba. I said, kids, I have to talk to you. You know, when I married your mother, I signed a tuba for her, not for you. You are a guest in this house. Wow. So the maid is only for Ima because I owe her. <laughs> I promised her I have to keep my promises. You, I didn't promise you anything. So to a little bit of him, please. Clean your room, fix your bed, put things back in place. I'm just asking you. So the cleaning don't, don't get They started, started, they decided to do demonstration. Demonstration. My kids, you can ask them. They said, we don't want to clean. It's not fair. Why she's not cleaning them? My wife, I told her, don't pay attention. Close your ears. And she likes everything to be clean. I said, when you're passing these rooms, close your eyes. Don't see it. Mice will come. I said, let the mice come. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to teach them a lesson. They have to learn how to take care of their own. They met. Listen to me now. We walk into the boys' room. I don't have to tell you. But a girl's room. It was three of them in one room. I told them, you're not going to get each one his own room. <laughs> no way, Jose. We have 10, we have 10, 10 bedrooms. I told them, you're going to get only two. Three, three boys in one room, three girls in the second room, eight rooms, only four girls. Not for you. Abba, I cannot do homework. Go to the living room. And you can do it there. Now they, Kara, this one called this one, this one called this one. You come to me, I come to you. Now see my own. I didn't have my child has to have. One room, right? Uh, and then if he put a sign outside, please do not disturb. Did you get into my room? Yes. Sir. But, so they, they grow up, don't care for each other. Don't do that. <laughs> Let them fight, it's good. That's how they show that they care for each other. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I fought with my brothers, with five Israeli brothers, in one room, five of them in one room, okay? We, we, we punch each other, I don't know what. As I said, they're fine. Listen, I walked into my girl's room. They met, I walked like, you know, on shoes, on skirts, shirts from school. And every morning, where is my shoes? Where is it? Ima! You gonna learn? Okay, to no. Amarti lachen lenakot. Amarti lachen. I told you to clean. Good for you. Good. With two eyes, kaha. Very good. You learn your lesson. Okay, to. Masom chen banot. Akish kashalem ayutze. <laughs> I 
I love it. <laughs> of course you love it. Huh? I love it. I, I can see the picture of her. I'll tell you why. Ima should wake up half an hour before we spoke about it. No, I'll meet her. Malka! Malka! You come to the child. Hashem is waiting for you. You will sing for them. He might be the one that will get. Can a pam, pamayim, chamesh, esra, esrim, shmoni, mea, achikanis. Okay? We want everything chick chak. Nothing is chick chak. Nothing. Something that goes fast is a shekel. It's a shekel. It's a lie. Things that, you know, valuable, it takes time. It takes time. Or die. I was the singer. <laughs> I was a singer. Now, if I need to wake up my my grandchildren, so I do the same thing like I did to my kids. They like to to sleep. Here come Saba! Wow! Yalla! I sing you a song, Kara Boom, Sadik. Let's go to Shul, come on. Saba, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. No, no. <laughs> At the end, was it? no, no. How many times I have to wake you up? Don't do this. We're a sign patient. If you're not gonna have it, you're not gonna be successful. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> okay. The next child is Chaim. Lying nonstop. When the child starting to lie, why people are lying? Why? They want to show themselves that they're okay, they're fine. Even though they, they, inside they know they're not okay. But they want to present themselves that they're okay, so they're starting to lie. And this should not go on because they're sending you a signal, I don't feel good about myself. I'm not doing well in school, so they lying. Do you have homework? No, why? The teacher didn't come today. You calling the school? And what the teacher didn't come? So how are we reacting? Boena, come here. What did I ask you? What did I ask you? I don't know. You, I asked you if you have homework. I said, yes. What did you tell me? FBI now. What did you tell me? Ah, huh? just uh, don't forget the projector uh, into your eyes. So and put aside FBI. What, what did I tell you? What did you answer back to me? You lying? Ah, can now. He, by himself, he's already quiet, and, the, and Ima coming. <laughs> Don't do that. The child is screaming as loud as he can scream. I'm in trouble, I'm in emotional trouble. 
What do you do? Now you sit with your husband. We have to draw up a plan. Our child is not doing well. He's missing something. And why? Because he's lazy and doesn't want to do the homework. Okay. Leave it like that. Because you think that your child is your, huh? Is your one, you know what it is? That is be cool. If my child is doing well, meaning I'm doing well. My child is not doing well. So we holding this child as our business card. So you have to do homework. Because then if I'm going to PTA, I'm going to get all the embarrassment. So for me not to get the embarrassment, I'm going to show you, I'm going to sit on you, kaha in machbesh, until you're going to do homework. How are they going to learn that there is a consequence? You can come up with all kind, you know, of encouragement, you know, but you're not in charge. You're not in charge. He is in school. He have to learn that if he will not do homework, so you have to do it in the break time. Other people, other kids will go outside. He has to sit down in the classroom and do homework. That's why you have to be in touch with the teachers and everything else. And the teacher says, what are you going to do with him? So, so you have to come up with an idea. Don't tell him, I, I said. When everybody goes to break time, make him do his homework. So now the child has to make calculation. What is better for me? To do the homework at home or to do it while everybody is out and, my, and I'm like a loser, I have to sit over here now. That's a consequence. He learns that in life, every action that you take, and if you're not performing, there is a price for this. We don't want it to happen. We like to protect them all the time. Don't do that. Listen, to be a parent, what? What? What about that? It's not easy. But later on, the nacha that you're going to see, it's worth any investment. And we all deserve to see Nacha from our kids because by met we mean well. Nobody means bad over here, right? We want to succeed. We want to see them happy in their life. We want it. Who doesn't want it? But there is a price to pay. And it's a good price to pay. You have to put a lot of effort. A lot of effort. And with the effort, you're going to learn a lot of things for yourself also, you know? Along the way, how to deal with a child, usually the first bones are the most, you know, old colonisionot or sim ala rosh la miskenaze. Or, or, huh? Arishonim, the first bones, why, why, why? All the mistakes. All the mistakes down there. The little one usually is coming the smartest one. <laughs> the most successful. Why? Because he learned from all the mistakes of everybody else. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. Now. Also, don't forget this. Uh -huh. 
fighting your nails. Wow, 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 this child. Sending you, mommy, I'm in trouble. Tafsik var. And I'm going to have pilpel. Right? And, and, she, and she said to her husband, and this is what the child has to hear now. I'm in trouble emotionally, and my mother putting more oil into the fire. She says, I have, I, I'm, my nerves are sick. I'm a mental. Ah, that's okay. Ah, oh, when they suck this, that's a problem. Okay. Oh, when they starting to go, what? Mama, 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 Opa, meaning they looking to draw attention. What about nail biting? That's what I said. Kara. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Oops. That's a problem. The child sending you, it's not anymore a hint. It's like an elephant. I am in trouble. And we don't pick it up. Usually when we we starting to run when like chicken without a head. Huh? Video. The principal call. The school start to call you up and say, Andoni, your child is not doing well. Take him for evaluation and so on. Oh, oh boy. Why? Because when we told you, you know, come to classes, uh, I know everything. Mahasarli, I'm fine. So, my child, of course, will be fine. Until you hear the voice of the principal, you have to come to school. We have to talk. By the way, I said, oh. Then you have starting to pack, 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 pack. My words him. What do they want? And I said, you have to take him to psychologist. We want to see evaluation. Otherwise, you cannot stay in the school. Maybe he needs a different school, smaller classes, and so on. And you say, why? How can it be? My child, we have to change the school. Yeah, hello. The principal saw thousands of thousands of kids. You saw maybe three, in a good case. Right? What do you know? You know, it's sometimes I, I don't understand how Ima, that she's Ima, I know, she knows they a child, but up to a certain point. The principal, he just take, if he is a principal, he will look at the child and says, You know, in, in my time, I used to stand by the stairs. Every child that came up the stairs, I, I looked at him and said, get into my office, you get into my office, you get into my office and said, why from the faces I knew, something happened at home. So one by one, I spoke to them. Are you okay? And the child was scared. And he said, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm like, is everything okay? We love you. We can help you. And the child all of a sudden, you see, kind of, Bruh. I said, well, what happened? Again, Abba fought with Ima. <laughs> and the child don't know even what to do with himself. The second one, third one, and now the parents, they don't know. In school, we pick it up. 
and we have to take this child now. And just, because we're busy with ourselves. We have to ad- admit once and for all, you know, we have to admit over here, I call it, you know, this is before Pesach, we have to do Biur Hamitz. Hamitz meaning, when we get upset, we don't care. Not that we don't care, we do care, but we don't pay attention that somebody will get hurt over here and is your kids. And many times they're not doing good in school because his mind is said, how is my, how is my mommy doing? How is Abba doing? Sometimes they don't want to go to school. I know cases, the child don't want to go, go to school. He wants to protect his ima. He's as a child, no? All the child needs is to see Ima having tears in her eyes. The child is losing himself, he lost, he's losing the confidence, he's losing everything. But much like you open up, it's an earthquake for him. Earthquake. But we don't see it like this because we busy who is right, who is wrong, who is who he who will wear the pants over here? Who has the last word in this house? That's the most important thing. You? Okay. Don't do that. Do not do it. Huh? Okay. Huh? No, as long as he knows that it was this and not it's not uh, because of you. Yeah, no, go in. Yeah. Don't you want everybody in this room now? Don't you want to feel that you that you accepted and you've been loved and you're not a burden, right? How do you feel if your husband says? You want to talk to, 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 to your husband. And I say, Taziyoti, no? Taziyoti, I'm not going to do it. What do you want to do with my life? What do you want to do with me? Taziyoti. No, I need to talk to you. Now what? Yesterday we spoke already. <laughs> By next week, I'll see you again. How do you feel? You, you. No, no. Huh? I feel I'm a burden. Not wanted. Right? All, all. A person feels. Even as a grown up, you, you feel bad. Imagine a child that don't find his place in the house. Could, could, could you imagine this? But when the child feels that Imma loves him anyway, Abba loves him in any way, and he is wanted, and every time he needs you, you there, this child, you're not going to see one public from you. Yeah. Of course. Rabbi. One second. Yes. Yes. How are you, Rabbi? Quick question. So I know that a lot of the conversation we had was about uh, the youth and young children and maybe even young adolescent and teenagers. But what is... uh, if it is your firstborn and you did make mistakes, right? Like we, most of us do with our firstborns and the years go by and now he's not anymore 10 years old or three years old or 15, but now you're dealing with a 25 and then a 30 year old and you admit that you made mistakes, but at some point it's just things don't change and things continue and the behavior continues and the using and the lack of appreciation and respect to uh, your parents and so on. Even if you made mistakes, let's say I take all the blame in this scenario. How do you deal with something like that? Very difficult. 
because now the child is already, you know, when you have a small bush, you can still put a stick. If it's curved, you can put it straight. But when the tree is already a tree, is already, now you have to pray and you have to show him that you love him and you care for him and pray to Hashem, he should help you and the child, everything will get in because he is bitter, okay? Life was not that nice for him, right? With all kinds of, uh, all kinds of, of reasons. So now you have to accept it, to be patient, to show as much love as you can and don't expect anything in return and pray to Hashem that your words will get, will penetrate into his heart. So now I'm going to give you the opposite scenario. And the scenario is we did everything and everything and we did not make many mistakes. And no matter what we have done, there is something within that always chose the easy path, not the right path. And no matter what you do, no matter what you give, things are not working out. What do you do with that kind of situation? In this kind of a situation, I have to talk to the child also because I hear only one side. Let's see what he has to say. And then we're going to see where is the problem. Yes, it's fair. Yes, that's why I give you two situations. <laughs> <laughs> so I get both sides, you know. You so always have to hear both sides. Answer. You, have, mm -hmm. or you always have to hear both sides because we as parents, we're ready to swear that we're doing everything. Everything is right. I'm not so sure. But it just seems like parenting could never be perfect, ever. It never has been. Ah. Why is he doing So why are you waiting until she is so when I'll tell you how to punish it will take you two days and the child will be a bubale <laughs> patient <laughs> because the child has to understand that the, even the punishment is coming from love You're saying, of course, for, 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 for the child is not, of course. Please pay attention to what I'm saying. You know? <laughs> Harab, can I say something? One, 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 one second, one second. Uh, the main two things that you all want to hear is how to discipline my child and how to punish him. I know that. I'm going to leave it to the end, to the end. Because before you're going to discipline your child, I don't know if we disciplined. That's number one. But there is a way to discipline a child. And it's not so complicated as you think it is, okay? What I'm saying now is more complicated than to discipline and to punish. 
Okay? To punish a child, I promise you, the method that I, I'll give you, it takes two days, but if you're gonna listen to what I'm, I'm saying, because you're not accustomed to this, two days and the child will perform like a soldier. No need, no punishment, no screaming, no hitting, no go to your room, clue. Wait, <clears throat> why? Because the child have to know and to understand that this is coming from a loving place. Rarely I punished, rarely, but the kids knew when Abba get, got to this extent, we, meaning we were at fault. That's where you're reaching where you want to reach. Not that the child said, my mommy is mean. I hate my mom. I hate her. Right? I hate the mother and then they run to the mother right afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Because they know already where are the weak spots of Ima. You see? When you're not on the same page, the kids know exactly what to take out of Abba and what to take out of Ima. They're going to teach you. The brain working, unbelievable. They say, don't ask Ima, ask Abba. <laughs> Abba, can we have a candy? Can, can, let's go. Ima, Bakara! Why do you give him a candy? And the child says, Ima, she's a monster. Abba is good, Abba is good. And, why, 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 Ima, we need sneakers, okay? So, Abba, if she comes, you know, why, why, why don't you go? I say, hey, hello. I grew up with one pair of shoes. Mata Koshniara. They know. So don't, don't let it happen. Ima and Abba always have to be on the same page, each one backing the other one. If the child caught you off guard, off guard, and you say, uh, Ima, mommy, I want uh, I want a candy for, for example. And I say, I have to ask Abba. I have to ask Abba. And the child says, Okay, Abba, it's okay. And Ima says, uh, Chaim, Moshe said that he was a candy, right? That it's not good for him, right? So Abba right away picks up the signals and he says, it's not good for you. It's not good. Meaning Ima putting in the mouth of Abba what you have to say to the child. Don't wait there. Say, if he'll tell him now to take it, I'm going to chop his head off. <laughs> Help him to be on your side. Say, right, you don't agree? Right, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No candy. Very simple. I'll tell you why our kids sometimes they starting to act. Here we go. Ima. Oof. I would say, I don't need a zek, man. I would say, no dick as a. light up sickle. Can you stop her, please? What I would say. And she's saying to the, the husband, I don't have coach anymore for my this baby. Misha Gauti. Kaho to kah kah. Die, and you know, I can't take him anymore.
whatever I do for him, it's not enough. I can't take it anymore. Kak oto kwar, kak. Zeu, ani lo yukhola. כמו פח זבל, רק גרבג' כן. How many times I told you to take the garbage out? Take this child away from him. I can't smell the smell anymore. The child feels like a garbage can. Think how the child think. You know, we think it how, how we feel, but we don't yet there to feel how what I'm saying, how it's going to affect him or her, the child. Here comes Abba, he said. Why this child is so sleepy? And the child hears it. Very good. Here comes your mother and say, Malkale, he's already six months old. Lama Uloy Yoshev. Why the child is not sitting down yet? And you think that the child don't hear this? Oh, yes. Six months? Of course. They hear about everything. Of course. So the child he is observing the what? Retarded, Kimat. Nudnik, impossible, is a burden, not wanted. Who can live like that? Now, here we go. The child grow up, he want to eat by himself, right? Uh, he's a, 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 a year and a half, let's say he's two years old. He's after a shower, everything else, you will change the pyjama. Now you want to feed him yogurt. And you with the Zeh, in a motek, now he wants the spoon. I want to eat by myself. No, 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 no. I just gave you a bath. Ma'a o pam, titlachlech. One more time I have to Zeh. No. Why he must say, he will spill. What an encouragement as a cheerleader. Oh. Bomba, you're gonna mess up your clothes. Very nice. What the child here? You have all time here, it will. You, you, you're not capable. Who's saying it? Ima that loves him. You say, mm, my, my child, of course I love him. We know that. Now Abba is there. Hey, hey, hey. He will swallow the spoon. But what the child is saying, I have to And so this, we calling it cheerleading. Imagine you have a bunch of friends. Cheerleaders, you're gonna lose. You bunch of losers, huh? Hey, 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 loser, 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 loser. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> how does it sound? Tell me, how does it sound? It sounds mamash. So the signal to the child was, the message was, you're not capable. It's not for you. And the child said, he believes that the met is not capable. Let's say a child. Here, here, here we go. Let's make a test, okay? Let's make a test. You bought a set. Mikimoto. Ah, China, Kara. Fine, China. The child is five years old. He wants to help you to take, you know, from the table to the kitchen. Ima. 
לא, 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 בוא, 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 בוא. ככה זה, but he sees everybody else having a plate. He wants to take a plate also. What's the reaction? Should be now. What should be? Do it. Uh, no. You're such a you such a tadi. You want to help mommy? Here we go. Take it. And you by the same saying, Mike, what can happen already? One plate will break five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars. It's better to lose twenty dollars now than later on to pay to the therapist two hundred dollars per hour. That's the cheshbon. Let it break. And if it, if it breaks, say, Mazal Tov, you know, you know, this week it happened to me also. You know, I took it there and it broke. That's it, come on, so Charles said, okay, I'm not that bad. He might also admit that, that things fall into us. So you give him confidence for crying out loud. But for us, okay, Baruch Merachem ala Aretz. Lo Baruch Merachem ala Beriot. Baruch Merachem ala Aretz. It means what? Chaz Shalom, you know, it's a Mickey Moto. Uh, fine China. It's not for you. This child, everything will drop from his hands. Because he doesn't have confidence in, a, in, his, in, in his own home, they didn't give him confidence. Yeah? Has he shaber? 50 bucks. Okay, fine. Good. Mea dollar. Another. Good. Why? You're preventing him to go to a therapist. Hello. Today, every child came out and is at the therapist. If he will be much more careful, they're not going to need it. Mm-mm. They're not going to need it. What time is it? Oh, very good. Okay, I think I need the So we are only in the beginning of our journey. Yes. I was trying to Yeah. You can also do it when they teenagers. Ah, yes, it's never too late. This much you have to know, okay? Why? And we have to learn also things from Akadosh Baruch also. Hashem is waiting for us until last day. Ad yom moto achakelo. If Yashuv, miyad ekabelo. Meaning, Hashem has so much patience. Huh? So much patience. A person can be a sinner all his life. And in the last moment of his life, he said, okay, I made a mistake. My life was a mistake. Hashem said, bo. Yalla. So much patience, so much, yes. 
because Hashem also is a father. He is a father of us all. Our parents are only the brokers. They are the Shomrim. We are the Shomrim. The Neshama belongs to Hashem. Hashem gave us Neshamot, Tovot, Terorot, Tmimot, Chelek Mimeno, part of Hashem. And we have to do the best job that we can do, right? In order Hashem trusted us. Some people Hashem don't trust, he doesn't give them kids. In my office, I have every day, every day. My heart is torn to pieces, you know. Now they have to go to IVF and IUI and the, 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 the shots and the hormones and everything else. Shem Yerachem Ve'yatsif. You know, it's, it's, it's painful and it's costly and it's not. Who knows why? We don't know, but as Hashem gave us kids, meaning it trusting us. We're all capable. Everybody who has a kid is capable. Impossible that Hashem will, will give you something to watch and to, and to deal with and to make sure that it will grow if you don't have the capability. I will not ask my child five years old when I have a puncher to pick up my car instead of the jack and I will change the tire. Yes, it's possible. No. So, if I, so why should Hashem give you a child if you're not capable? It's irresponsible. So we're all capable. All of you capable. Super capable. And the more the child Difficult, meaning you more capable you are. Listen carefully now. You can go to college and get a degree. Everything is fine, but it's only a paper. When Hashem gives you a child, a difficult one, difficult, difficult child, meaning Hashem gave you a certificate. You are the best psychologist in town. Nobody can do what, what, what you can do. That's why I send them to you. Not to her, not to your sister, not to your neighbor, you. Because I gave you the qualification to raise this child. Otherwise, we claiming Hashem is not responsible. Who can say something like that? Who has the guts to say something like that? So, we crying why Hashem gave me this child? Look at my sister. She gave travel to my parents and look at her kids like Chinese soldiers. <laughs> go to sleep, they're sleeping. Go to open your mouth, open the mouth. And we bow out. If we're going to talk hospital language, your sister is only a nurse. They can take maybe blood pressure and maybe draw blood if she is good, maximum. You're a surgeon, you're a head surgeon. What do you wanna be, a nurse? Or you wanna be a head surgeon? What do you wanna be? But we wanna have a chokhmah to deal with it. Hashem gave you chokhmah. You just have to develop it. That's why I'm saying to people, Rabotai, come to classes. You're missing the whole point. You have the qualification, you have the talent, you have everything, but you did not develop it. You know, to small kids, we're explaining that hell is fires, you know, like Amnon Yitzchak used to say, Tanu Sheva, Tanu. This is understanding of little kids. They see fire. Oh, forget it. It's not a, the embarrassment that they're going to have. Hashem will tell us, look what I gave you. And what did you do with that? You had so much talent you had. What happened over here if a child is not developing physically, 
what we calling him. Handicap, no? Delayed. It's not developed physically. We calling him handicap, right? How about if we don't develop the skills that we have? Aren't we spiritual handicap? Why? Why? Why can't we learn? So invest. Invest. When Ima calls me as a sir, my child is very difficult. I say, wow, 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 wow. Probably she is so capable. Come, come, come. I have to talk to you. And I talk to her. I tell her, hey, hello. Why don't you ask yourself, why Hashem didn't, why Hashem didn't give this child to somebody else? She see it as a punishment, right? We're seeing it as a privilege. That's, that's a different. That's a different. Other people see it as a punishment. And the real people that they know how Hashem operates, they see it as what? Privilege. Hashem is holding for me. I'm, I'm capable. That's how you all, all have to feel. As long as you have a child, you're capable. You just have to come, develop the skills, and you're going to do a great job. Okay? Have a good night, everybody. It was nice talking to you as usual. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Bye-bye. Before you wish Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi. Okay. Yeah. Have a good night, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. We had we had